Hi, I'm Morton Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Chat. Hello, and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. We're back for another video, the first of a four part series this week, as we look at the January transfer window, look at what Rovers need to do this window, what they should do with the current squad and what positions need to improve on. As you can see, I'm joined by Scott. We'll run through each position each day, and then at the end, we'll say what the Rovers actually need to do in this window. So, Scott, thank you very much for joining us. Looking forward to this little mini-series for this week. Yeah, it's always it's always nice, and especially when we come into a into a transfer window, uh, gives us a little bit extra to talk about. Yeah, it's nice to fill this gap between the week, isn't it? We usually sat there twiddling our thumbs for a bit, and then... Obviously, the transfer window started. Rumours have started already. We know what it's like. Proton Diaz is going to be talked about all window. We had it all summer. If I were Rick Sharp or Elliot Jackson during the summer, I'd have lost my mind with the amount of questions that have been asked about Diaz. It's going to happen again this January. We'll see what happens with it. Now, like I say, it's going to be four parts. So when you're watching this one on the Tuesday, hopefully you're watching it as soon as it comes out, Tuesday we'll look at keep, sell or buy for the goalkeepers and defenders, Wednesday keep, sell, buy for the midfielders, Thursday keep, sell, buy for the forwards and Friday we'll do what the Rovers actually need to do in the window. So you'll see on screen, I'll put the schedule up now, but just make sure you stay tuned and you can hit subscribe and hit that bell notification. You'll see every video as soon as it's out. It's really easy to do. It takes 10 seconds and it helps us as well. So, Scott, like I said, goalkeepers and defenders today. Just as a general place to start us off, how have you felt about the goalkeeper and the defender department this year? Do you think we've got a strong one before we actually look into it a bit deeper? I, I think I've been uh, pleasantly surprised. I think it's been a lot stronger than maybe I thought it would have been at the beginning of the season, having lost Ryan Niambi and Darren Lennon on freeze. I think... Uh, you know, acquiring the likes of Dom Hyam and Callum Britton have been massive for us. I know Callum Britton's injured at the minute, but, you know, they've, they've slotted into those roles seamlessly and, you know, I think keeping keeping Ayala fit for as long as he has has been a, been a big boost as well. Yeah, I think the yeah, Ayala ones have been gone because we always, since we signed them, we've always done that, haven't we? When we've looked at signings, we're like, the Rovers need one more in case Ayala goes off for a bit. And as much as you don't want to think that way, it, it has been that way, hasn't it, during Ayala's time here? Would you say that Rovers, in my eyes at least, were in probably the strongest we've been defensively for quite a long while? Maybe it hasn't always shown on the pitch, but... In terms of squad depth, do you feel this is probably Rovers' best defence? Uh, I'll put it out there. I think it's the strongest since we come down in terms of numbers that we have, in terms of how many players we have that are actually capable of playing at this level. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. Uh, you know, we've already mentioned Dom Hyam and Daniel Ayala, and then you've got Scott Wharton on top, and you know, you delve, you delve down into it. Even d deeper, you've got Hayden Carter, who's more than capable. Ash Phillips, who's a huge talent. I mean, the list goes on, doesn't it? It's uh, it's one of them now where we've we ha we have that depth. Uh, you know, we were always sort of cautious about you know playing playing players and you know being worried what if they get injured, who's going to replace them? And you know, it's it's one of them where we've, we have got that depth now. It's maybe do we want just a bit, you know, want to add some ta add some more talent for you know the future? Maybe I don't know, but uh, I guess we'll we'll have a chat about that soon. Yeah, we will. And I think another point to mention is you've got to remember it's only a year or two ago we were watching Bradley Johnson play centre half for so many games, and Ryan Ambe had to cover centre half. But everyone playing the year we got down is the one. The year we went down in twenty seventeen is the one that bruising my mind with Gordon Greer and Wes Brown as genuine centre-back options. It worries me. I'll just pull up this map of, you know, the squad there. This is just the senior side. Uh, as you see, as we'll go through the positions and we decide who we'd keep, who we'd want, uh, who we'd sell, etc. You'll see I've mentioned the youth as well. But just in terms of senior, so two keeper options, Kaminsky and Pears, left-back Pickering Eddon, uh, left centre-back, I put Ayala, Scott Water, Mauler. Obviously, Mauler can play that left-back. Uh, centre back, I've got right centre back, Hyam Carter Phillips, and then right back to obviously Britain and Ranking Stella plus Hayden Carter, really, isn't it? It's kind of three left back options, three right back options, 
six centre back options, which I don't think we've had for too long. What we'll do, Scott, so we'll run through keepers start with. I'll just ask your opinion, we'll take mine as well and we'll decide whether we keep, sell or loan or even send the player back on loan. So let's just get into it and this video. So goalkeepers, Thomas Kaminsky, I think it's the obvious one, isn't it? We don't have to argue with that. Keep. Now, we'll move on to Pace, Scott. Now, obviously, Ainsley Pace was mentioned as being one of the players on the loan list. Would you bother loaning him out or would you just keep him and maybe let one of the younger lads go? Um, see, it's one of them for me. It's, I think, you know, during during the cup run that we've just had, I think those were some of the best performances Ainsley's made since joining the club. I, uh, I think he's, he's, you know, he's shown that he's got something about him in those cup games. And I would like to see him, like, you know, maybe go out on loan and, and, uh, and see what he could do with some regular game time. Uh, I mean, we're not like we said, we're not short of options to to fill the bench uh, with Jordan Easton and Joe Hilton, and you know we've, we're not short of options. Um, I think uh, I think it'd be good for him to get some regular game time. So for players we're selling loan, and then if we move back onto the goalkeepers. So would you suggest then keeping Eastham and Hilton around? Just uh, yeah, I think not, just as a little bit of security. So keep for Eastham and then keep for Joe Hilton as well. I think that's a fair point. I think for me, I'm not that fussed if one of them goes out and on any of them because I think that Touchwood Kaminsky should stay fit for the season. Everything crossed when I say that. I hope I'm not jinxed there. And then if he stays, then you let one of young lads go out on loan. If Pears goes, then you've got to keep the young lads around. Joe Hilton's been part of the travelling squad for any away game, really. He's been training with the players, I think, before the match when they're having the shots. It always seems to be Hilton uh, in that. So we'll see about that. We'll move on to right backs. Callum Britton, an obvious one. Keep. Now, if we look at Joe Rankin Costello, Scott. A month ago, I think we actually recorded a video, didn't we? And we said we'd let him go out and he's had this time. Whether his injury would mean we'd keep him anywhere now because we don't know how long he's going to be out for at the time of recording. I'm guessing we're going to keep him, even if you think... Uh, even if, you know, his injury is all right. Are we saying we're going to keep him around now? I think you've got to because, uh, I mean, you look at how he's... I mean, when... When he first came into the first match day squad uh, in place of Callum Britton, I think uh, I, th- I don't think I'm alone in, in being, in, in, you know, feeling a little worried at that moment when reading his name on the team sheet. Um, we, we've seen we've seen some shaky performances under Tony Mowbray, and uh, I would started to question whether he was still. You know the player that we all thought he was uh, before he got injured, um, but you know after coming in the JDT, he's put some absolutely phenomenal performances in, and I think you know he's got. He, I think he's definitely, you know, cemented his his spot within the within the squad. And you're gonna feel for Jesse. I saw the other day that well, yesterday was at the time of recording. Yesterday, the Cardiff game were only forty eight for appearance. For the club, uh, made his debut five and a bit years ago in the Checker Trade Trophy as well. So he's averaging about 10 appearances a year. He's really been hit by injury, hasn't he? I think we all knew when he was 17 that he had the talent and everything else. And if it weren't for them injuries, I'm convinced he'd be racked up 200 appearances for Rovers by now. 150 appearances if it had been fit. Uh, you know, he started four games in a row in the league. That's his longest run since. I think the COVID season, the start of the COVID season, he did six in a row. So it really shows how much injuries hit him. And then right back to if we say, so James Brown, are we keeping him out on loan? Uh, yeah, I think at uh, I think at this moment, yeah. And then Dan Park, I think we'll keep around. I know he's got injury issues, uh, but we'll keep him around. He's always there as an emergency backup as well, although we know that Travis and Carter are going to play right back, aren't they? 
So centre backs will move on to uh, Daniel Ayala. I'm guessing keep. Hayden Carter, you're going to keep him around, Scott. Yeah, I think uh, I think Hayden Carter is. I think he, he's unlucky to uh, to not be playing more than he is at the minute. Um, I I always thought that you know Hayden was going to be one of the you know sure options to cover uh, Callum Britton when he got injured, and I think you know because JRC's done such a good job, he's he's kind of kept him out, um, which is a little unlucky for Hayden because he you know he, he gave him some good performances against when he played for Portsmouth last, last year yeah well he has been injured as well and he's just coming back to full fitness now so I think you know Hayden Carter will stay around for me I think he's good enough to play championship anyway I don't see any point in sending him out now uh, we'll move on so Hayden Carter keep Dom Hyam obvious keep uh, Scott Wharton keep Ash Phillips, do you keep him around or do you send him out alone? Ooh. Um, you know, I think if you'd have asked me, you know, a few weeks ago, I'd have probably said keep him around. But you know, we've talked we've talked about the depth that we've got, and I think you know, with with the options to in the market as well, you know, I, I think. I don't think there's any Rovers fan out there that's not aware that uh, J- J- JP's contract is going to expire in the summer and uh, he's not happy where he is. So whether whether Rovers will try and revisit that option, uh, you know, I think I think if you send Ash out on loan, it's only going to do him good. I uh, I think you know get some regular game time. Um, I think he's more than good enough for any division. I think you know he could go to a lower league championship team, and he'd still he'd still do well. I think uh, you know League One, he'd smash it in League One. So yeah, I think if you if you send him out on loan, he gets some some good game time, some good experience, and you you, you gamble, see what you can get. Yeah, I think as well. You know, we've asked that. He's kind of in the Hayden Carter boat of last year. Hayden Carter was on the bench and couldn't really play for the 23s because he was always with a first team, but didn't play for our first team. And it kind of, we were kind of holding him back as such in development. I think the best thing for Ash Phillips is to go out on loan, get some game time, be guaranteed game time. And, you know, I think we'll be fine in terms of defensive options. At centre backs, last one, Clinton Mauler. It's just not worked out for the guy, has it? You know, we'd love for it to all work out. West Ham away, man of the match, you're up there for me. And then you watch him at Burnley, you watch him against Forest, you watch him against Preston. It's just not worked out. Are we saying end his loan spell, send him back and, you know, maybe go into the market for another? We'll discuss this in the January transfer window options, but are we just suggesting? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, like you say, it's just, it's not worked out, has it? it? You know, he's... He's just sort of like t- tagging along, really. It, it, you don't want you don't want to ever say that about anyone in, in the team, but that's what it feels like. It feels like he's just along for the ride. He's, I don't think he's up to the championships level. Uh, no, I, think I, agree. I think if he'd have got a got a, a maybe a loan in League One, he would have done better, but. I just don't think he's quite there for us. No, I agree. I think it's just time for him to head back. And then centre back Annesley's out on one. He's got an option to buy. And we've got look, we've got Patrick Campbell, Jealous Sardi. Whether they get involved, I don't know. But you know, we've got that talent. And Sam Barnes, obviously, is one that is probably out for the season. But if he were around, I think he'd even he'd add to the case of Phillips going out because we'd have Barnes sat there ready to come in. Uh, just to finish it off, left back. Harry Pickering, an obvious keep. Taylor Wedden, would you just let him go out on loan, let him have his time? Would you sell him or would you keep him around as back up? What do you reckon? I think I think I'd keep him around as back up because I think we you know, as as it showed again the uh yesterday, uh obviously Harry Pickering went off injured uh 
and uh, and he came on. And I don't think I don't think he did bad. I don't think he did too bad uh, in filling in for Harry. Um, but I think you know to to ask Harry to be able to play every game at such high tempo, I think you're asking a lot of him there. Uh, I think I'd keep him around, especially not having a backup. If we if we could get a backup in the window, that may change things. But with that, with what we've currently got, I think I'd keep him around. Yeah, see, this is one I disagree. I'd let him go out and run. It's a tough one. So we're kind of both in these, you know, in the middle of both keeping warm there. It's a tough one, I think. For me, he wants to go and play football, doesn't he? At his, at his age, and I think when we go onto the transfer window video, we'll look at. I think this is a position where we need to bring someone in. I think bring a left back in. Well, if you're going to let Mola go and Eden, I think that's where we'll go. But we'll look at that. And the thing is, that's us done for the uh, defenders. Like I say, we'll be doing one of these uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So come back tomorrow to watch the midfielders one. We'll just have a quick look at the squad again. This is where we're at. So we said Kaminsky keep, Piers possibly loan out, uh, Pickering keep, Eden possibly loan out, Ayala and Scott Warren keep, and Mola possibly send back, Hyman Carter keep, Phillips possibly send out alone, and then Britain and Jesse. So if we're looking at that, we've got basically, we're looking at two options in each position, aren't we? And then, you know, when a left back, we didn't even mention the quality we've got. In the youth, Jake Batty already played this season, and I'm sure the rest are highly rated. So that's where we'll round off. Thanks everyone for watching. That's the first of our keep, sell, buy, recall from Lawn series. We'll be back again for the midfielders one tomorrow. Until then, you can hit like, hit subscribe, turn the notification on as well, and then you'll see all the videos when they come out. Thanks to joining us, and thanks to Scott for coming on. Always a pleasure having you on, Scott. Oh yeah, it's always nice. It's good to uh, good to be on the show. And thank you to all of you for watching it. You know, we really appreciate the sport. Come back tomorrow for the midfielders. I'm sure there's a lot of debate to be had.